most often than not traders in the market do use ta for various reasons that that we discussed and they have their own recipe So as you're getting familiar with charts, you are also understanding that we are using various data points to understand what is happening in these charts. That's all what we are doing. And all of this is basically technical analysis. Since then, what we have been doing in terms of understanding what TA is all about, how it does benefit us, and maybe there are certain disadvantages of just using technical analysis in you know, taking a position. Most often than not, traders in the market do use TA for various reasons that, that we discussed and they have their own recipe, all right? One of the important parts of that recipe, as you know that you can understand what charts are showing as data, what charts are showing as candlestick patterns and you can you know have uh, an understanding where you can find a pattern and you can try to gauge a move and you take a trade position. But most of the times you are trying to substantiate every time, you're trying to find confirmations that if I'm taking this trade, is it going to help me make a profit? One of the most important things uh, you know, to note while we are doing these TA, while we are doing the technical analysis, we've already understood and discussed that candlesticks will help us. But what will help us more than ever is probably what is already happening in the market. Moving averages is something that you know, are simply the calculation of price which are put, line, uh, you know, put as a line on the chart itself. It is actually following, you know, a uh, a strong, uh, I would say, average uh, based line for a period, and it's it consistently draws this line as you move on forward. So this basically, uh, you know, smooths out the price by rolling an average for a specified time in the past. So for example, if the last five days there has been a price of you know five rupees and eight rupees and then ten and then 12 and then 7 again, then what it usually does, it basically averages them all out uh, together. So for example, if you're calculating a 10 day moving average on the 11th day, the first day's price is going to be eliminated. And then you're going to include the 11th day's price. All right. So as it keeps moving forward, as it keeps progressing, uh, you know, in the days that keep passing by, it's moving average, which also will customize itself. And we will discuss, uh, you know, this um, in, in a while as well. As you can see, uh, there are two main and most important types uh, of moving averages that we need to understand. One is simple moving average and the other is exponential moving average. Both of them we can use from time to time to understand what can be better represented and if you can make a better decision on your trade uh, if, you, if you get more details uh, from something like a moving average. So simple moving average what is it? Let's try to define and understand this. Simple moving averages are nothing, uh, as I just mentioned, that this is just an average price of the last specified period uh, where every new day when it's get, it gets added uh, is furthest away from the day that it is removed from the calculation. So if it was a 10 day moving average, then we're just taking 10 days uh, uh, price as an average. If it's a, you know, if it's a big one, it's a big, uh, then it's a big one. Although when we're looking at exponential moving averages, they are also similar, but they are given more weightage to the recent uh, most price. For example, while calculating a 20 day exponential uh, moving average, yesterday's price will have the highest weightage. Once before that will have the weighted average in a decreasing order till 20 days. So what is happening in a simple moving average and what is different in a weighted moving average is just the consequence of how much weight is specified to each of these days. So for example, in a 10 day simple moving average, all of these days were given the same weight, which was one. But for example, if it was an exponential moving average, then we are just taking into account the most recent price as the highest weighted price, because it just says that the, probably the most recent price can give you the most they can have the most effect in today's price rather than you know a price which was 20 days earlier from today that is what it, uh, you know moving average basically is so let's just cut to the screen and let's see how we can plot uh, these on the coin dcx platform and we can gain insights of what they really are 
and then customize them for our own advantage and then take that trade. So let's get back to the CoinDCX platform and where we again see um, you know a BTC USDT chart and we see on the top uh, that there is something known as indicators right where we select what kind of time frames we wanted and what kind of candles that we liked there is another segment a section right there known as indicators this will be our very good friend in the future while trading all the different indicators as you can see there's so many indicators you can spend a lifetime reading about indicators to be very honest and you know once you really find your own uh, you know recipe you would just go on them make your chart and then try to go ahead i love the uh, vwav indicator myself so there are various indicators so right right let's just write moving averages and as soon as we write moving averages you can see that there's a moving average there's a you know uh, uh, moving average exponential moving average weighted there's a smooth moving average. So let's just select moving average. And when we do select moving average, you can see that there is a moving average right here. You can select format. Uh, you know, you can see the inputs. The length is nine. That means it's a nine day moving average. If you want to put this as 10 day, you can just select and put this as 10. All right. And then you can say, okay. And now this orange line that you see crossing all these charts is basically keeping an average and you can see how the actual chart is so tightly tied down by by this and whenever there is you know whenever this is uh, the the chart is moving higher than the moving average then at some point of time you see that it again tries to break down and tries to set off that price tries to get close to the average and then it again goes down and it tries to break that again that's what the importance of moving averages in generally as i told you the markets are deviating from its standard deviation from its average and mean price this is very close to that although i like to use you know volume based indicators which we will cover in the next few sections but in this section i'm just trying to help you plot uh, what kind of indicators that you would want for example if you wanted again we we'll let's go and see moving averages as an exponential which we discussed earlier now we can see that there's this other blue chart if you want to like format any of these then you can just click on this arrow button on the EMA, which again shows you that it's nine. Let's just format it to 20. So it's a 20 day EMA. And you can see that the 20 day EMA, and we can see it from today. So we can just scroll to the right and just reach like our own time frame, uh, which is for, for now, and see that you know generally. The EMA, both EMA and moving averages for the last 10 days and the EMA for the last 20 days show that, you know, there is generally the current price is below uh, the moving averages. So there definitely can be a price improvement at least to $32,800 uh, $32, at least. And if it breaks through, then it again, because the market's moving in cycles, as you can see, that's snake, that's a snake that's moving in a sine wave. It cannot just move in one direction just like that. It has to move in a sine wave because it is always moving across its standard deviation. And this moving averages is a very close example of how the markets can move through these cycles. The moving averages are just a consistent uh, average, a weighted average of what, why, what, what's being done. But right now, as you can see, Bitcoin shows is probably at this point in time for a short term trade, you can definitely see that it is under the moving average. And generally, it can either go down. This is one of the indicators that you can use to substantiate your claims, substantiate your trade strategies, not just independently say that, oh, moving averages is higher than what the current price is, and I should just buy. Don't just rely on that. But in general, moving averages will definitely help you perform a better TA and substantiate your confidence before trading um, you know, any positions that you would want to. Let's find out more about you know, indicators in the next section as well. But that's much about moving averages. You can definitely read more articles um, that we'll link it through. Moving averages is widely uh, used by intraday and swing traders to identify you know, nice points that will either see you know, a reversal or a breakout of the price. Uh, so let's say if this is a 15 minute chart with 21 exponential moving average, now there is also a very interesting moving average uh, which not only is used by the traders 
but also by investors. This is the 200 day moving average and it is not exponential but a simple moving average. Here we will customize it to a 200 day uh, moving average by going to the format section. Uh, so let me also show you what I what I mean here. All right, so if you want to have this as an indicator, which is a 200 uh, day moving average, which is used by retail and institutional people, how do you want to do it? As we did it last time, we already have a moving average set on our uh, charts. All we want to do is format this, go into the inputs, select the length, go and make it 200. So now we have 200 days uh, that we can find, all right? So this is what we've done. Let me remove the EMA just for, you know, we don't want to get confused and see the 200 day moving average really shows that the price it's in a general uptrend this is insane because you can actually right now see that it obviously broke down so somewhere down the line all right the markets actually went below the moving average of 200 days just now it took ages this is what happened after probably uh this is post december 11th that is you know it happened after two months after two months it actually went below or it actually bounced from that moving average uh, so uh, another interesting moving average is a hundred uh, day moving average and plotting it in the same we can do that um, you know by just formatting the moving averages you know how to set these up i don't want to share my tricks in terms of how you can use these moving averages in general and how do i would use uh, how would i use it in my own trades but what happens with moving averages it is i am just going to rely or see it as a uh, ancillary not a primary conviction point of making a trade but an ancillary or a secondary uh, conviction i already want to make my rationale or logic based on other instruments probably you know volume based and stuff which we'll learn in the uh, future videos and uh, this is just good to know so that you can use them in being more confident before you execute a trade you find out that you know whether these moving averages are not showing something insanely different of what you're trying to do and they are very much in sync and tune to what you're thinking and your rationale and logic behind your trade is and if they both match go for that trade i, ca I can't say that it's going to work or work, uh, you know not work for you but as a trader emotions out of the game principally if the data is showing what you want to do and your trade strategy is correct you want to execute that these are just going to give you more confidence in executing that trade. So let's move on with other uh, sections. And in this section, we've learned about moving averages, how to define them in your chart by, you know, using, I'm using a full screen on um, CoinDCX, as you can see much clearly of um, what I'm trying to do. And uh, as you can see that, you know, uh, averages are again, you know, the price of uh, any asset kind of move moves above and below the moving averages. And ultimately, you can really identify that if the moving average is too uh, below the current daily's, uh, daily price, then somewhere down the line, it will catch up. And so for the inverse thing, when it's way below and the moving averages says that it's at a higher place, somewhere down the line, they will converge. And that's where we want to make our trades. We want to be, you know, predicting that outcome. We want to make our trades so that we can gain profits from that. So that's enough of uh, moving averages and let's move on uh, to the next section which is indicators.